Moving on, let's talk about the uh, sell-off that's happening in the commodities. What's the way ahead with Peter McGuire, who is the Chief Executive Officer at XM Australia. Good afternoon, Peter. Thank you for joining us on ET Now. I'm Cheryl, along with my colleague uh, Pankaj. Uh, I'll first begin asking uh, on the commodities, what we're seeing currently. We know that uh, there is a slowdown in growth in China. You also have the Fed taper, taper talks that's actually uh, started once again. All of this is adding pressure to the commodity market. Uh, do you see this actually uh, going ahead and uh, becoming much more a full-blown uh, issue for the commodities? Well, good afternoon. I think a couple of things also is the uh, apprehension of the market due to what we're expecting next week in Jackson Hole. Also, one needs to be conscious, less demand and less liquidity uh, many traders have taken their chips off the table and everyone's gone short. Crude, energy and base metals and foods. So it's been a dynamic time for trading in the last couple of weeks. And of course, you've had a very strong move to the upside or relatively strong for US dollar index. So put it all together, uh, I think it's a time to take profits and uh, it's been a very nice time to be trading. Right. You know, what is the sense that you get as far as uh, the overall this tantrum word is concerned? Do you think markets are overreacting to every time the news flow is coming or whenever it happens, whether market knows it or not, there will be an excessive sell off? Well, I think it gets to a point that it was, it was probably overbought. There was so much momentum to the upside for crude, for base metals. Everything was, a, you know, an iron ore. Everything was Christmas every day and, and, you know, yesterday's price was going to be beaten by today's and so in turn it just ratcheted up. So there was a point in time that it becomes exhausted. Those big moves are counter, um, well, counterintuitive, but everyone just went short. And I think the, um, you know, by copper being under 9,000 a metric tonne, it's really demonstrated how quickly... Uh, the markets have, have corrected to the downside. So that really, I think, has taken everyone by a little bit of surprise. And also, don't put our mind... We can't escape from the reality that, you know, there's still this COVID uh, concern that hasn't gone away, and that's created, again, another level of angst to the market, as demonstrated with the, uh, with the uh, Royal Bank of, of, um, of New Zealand this week. Reserve. Right, uh, Peter, and like you mentioned, uh, there's this overhang of Delta on back of that. You have concerns about demand as well. We've seen what's happened to crude uh, today. Luckily, it's snapped that six-day losing streak. But what's the way ahead for the crude as well as for gold? Well, I think gold's got possibly more upside. I'm thinking that, you know, while we have got a rising US dollar, it's been whipsawed in the last week and a half. We've been, well, two weeks. Last Monday week, it went down to a drop nearly a hundred dollars, and then it, it was at sixteen ninety, and it's ratcheted back up, you know, to seventeen eighty, seventeen eighty five. So there's the storyline there. The other side that needs to be considered is that uh, I, I, the crude market it may drop another dollar or two, but I think the majority of the market has really absorbed this big correction. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised at maybe another dollar or two, but I don't know whether it's going to, you know, capitulate further from here. It's already down probably 16, 17% in the last uh, week and a half to two weeks or two and a half weeks. Right. Uh, all right. We leave it at there. Thank you, Peter, for joining us on the show, talking about the markets, the uh, crude market, uh, be the commodity market, as well as gold in particular. That was Peter Maguire of uh, of XM Australia.